The number of Asian American registered voters will double to about 12 million in the year 2040, making Asian Americans one of the fastest growing electorates over the next quarter century. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the Executive Director of the Asian and Pacific Islander American Vote Michigan, Teresa Tran. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So this is great news uh, for Asian Americans. So what's behind that shift? Is it just getting more folks registered or are there simply uh, more Asian Americans in Michigan? Well, it's both. Um, so we have seen over the last decade a huge growth of Asian Americans. We are the fastest growing racial demographic in the state of Michigan and in the country. Um, and with that, we can with that means that we are having more 18 year olds who are aging and becoming uh, eligible but we're also seeing migration and immigration of Asian immigrants coming here and becoming naturalized and so they're eligible to vote and uh, they're getting ready and excited about uh, participating in our democracy. Which is uh, great news as far as having an influence on future elect uh, elections whether it's a candidate or an issue uh, having a real say uh, lots of wonderful opportunities I would imagine along with those opportunities some challenges as well what are, what are those so some of the biggest challenges for us as a community organization that's really doing hard work to make sure Asian Americans first know that elections are happening but also that they have access to information that's in language for many um, as much as two-thirds of Asian Americans in uh, the Detroit metro area speak a language other than English at home and so uh, we really want to make sure that the materials that they have is helping them to make informed decisions because you know as well as I do and for us English is our primary language when we go to the polls and read some of those ballots they don't necessarily make sense. Um, you think you're voting for one thing, but it's actually another. So we want to make sure that people are informed and that they can make um, informed decisions when they go to the polls. How would you expect uh, all of these additional Asian American voters to perhaps influence future election elections? Uh, Asian Americans as a group, do they traditionally vote a certain way? Not necessarily. So unlike other racial groups, Asian Americans are largely independent. Um, we don't tend to register with any party. Um, in fact, we're more likely to vote based on issues. So when um, people who are running for office, let's say, um, might say something that could be offensive, they're ready to switch um, to another person um, because of that. Um, and so it's really about the issues, about um, who is wanting to represent uh, the interests of not just Asian Americans, but all American people. Um, and even though we're still fairly small in Michigan, there are districts and places in the state where uh, we represent upwards of 10%, close to 16% in some communities. So it's a community that people need to pay attention to, and I think they're starting to, but it's largely a community that's up for grabs. Well, if uh, voters or folks running know that uh, the voters uh, can are very easily influenced and, and will vote either way, uh, you can bet they'll start paying attention to that. Let's hope so, yeah. <laughs> Certainly during election season, uh, you're focused right now educating uh, those who are going to head out to the polls, but when all the election hubbub is over, you focus a lot of your time uh, really educating youth as well. Mm -hmm. We actually do that through the election season <laughs> as well, so we're nonstop. Um, we really are committed to our young people because um, most people will say that you know young people are our leaders of tomorrow, but we really believe that young people are our leaders today because they're exhibiting skills that are really important for um, interpreting for their parents. They're obviously participating in traditional activities through school and places of worship, but they already possess a lot of leadership skills, and we want to make sure that that's rooted in culture, that's rooted in history, especially here in this place of Michigan. Asian Americans have been here for a long time but um, haven't necessarily seen the growth that we have in the in the last uh, decade so we teach them about things like civil rights heroes such as Fred Korematsu or you know the history of Chinatown here in Detroit but was displaced because of uh, the building of the lodge so those are really important things that we want our young people to know all right doing great things all year long thank you so much for joining us thank today you. For more information on the Asian and Pacific Islander American Vote Michigan, you can visit APIAVoteMI.org. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Teresa Tran, the Executive Director of the Asian and Pacific Islander American Vote Michigan.